experts is suggesting that this year, this financial year, we will have a recession. They do point to a lowering of the growth rate, but no recession certainly. Finally, some aspects of the reason why we've got this uh, recession are predictable. Manufacturing was expected not to do well, but on the other hand, mining is doing very well given the commodity prices. Agriculture is doing very well given that the drought has receded. We have political leaders who have committed economic suicide. It is leaving poor South Africans at home uh, in a much more difficult position than they could be in. Jacob Zuma's action and those of the ANC have brought us to this point thanks to policies that are incoherent. This arises out of rogue and reckless decisions on the part of the executive and the president in particular. The policy inconsistencies, the political instability, particularly within the ANC, and an unfavorable business working condition in the country which um, has staved off investment. The National Development Plan has estimated that we need 5% annual growth per year to deal with the high levels of unemployment and poverty. And we're not anywhere near that. President Zuma must be held accountable for this disappointing growth figure and the fact that we are now facing a recession. All of these things that have been publicized about our country, state capture, corruption, and we are always in court, and our image has been tainted. We have, over the past few years, been consistently warning the Jacob Zuma administration about its bad leadership, including issues and concerns around policy uncertainty and the failure to be able to appease investors. We first saw our downgrades taking place in our economy and obviously that will have a knock-on effect. You will have large institutional investors pulling out of South Africa. You will have our own companies not spending money anymore where they have money available. Um, and so it means that they won't create more jobs.